Pyraminx is typically a very fast event. There are two major parts to a Pyraminx solve. A solver has to solve the main body of the puzzle and also the tips of the puzzle, which are the small triangles on the outside. The Pyraminx world record was split between Ezra Shear and Jasper Murray with a 1.55 second average. Until one week before US Nationals, Ezra broke through. Ezra started his average with a 1.61 second solve. Then on his second solve, he got a 1.53. On his third, he was able to get a 1.42. So if you are Ezra in the situation, all you need is one more fast solve to lock in the world record average. As a reminder, in a Rubik's Cube average, the best and worst times are removed. In the middle three times are added up and divided by three for your score. So that means in this situation, if Ezra got one more fast time, it wouldn't matter that his fifth solve was the worst, since it would be the world record average anyway. And that's when Ezra did this. Yes! The fifth solve had to be redone because of a tip miss scramble costing Ezra of the first 1.5 second average. Nonetheless, he still got a crazy fast 1.51 second average. The pack is still very tight as we head into US Nationals. Ezra leads the way, but he's followed closely behind by Michael Nielsen and Kyle Mead. It will be interesting to see if Ezra will be able to control his nerves in his US Nationals debut, or if someone else can claim the US National Champion title instead.